Inception is a 2010 science fiction action film written and directed by Christopher Nolan, who also produced the film with Emma Thomas, his wife. The film stars Leonardo DiCaprio as a professional thief who steals information by infiltrating the subconscious of his targets. He is offered a chance to have his criminal history erased as payment for the implantation of another person's idea into a target's subconscious. The ensemble cast includes Ken Watanabe, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Marion Cotillard, Elliot Page, Tom Hardy, Dilip Rao, Cillian Murphy, Tom Berenger, and Michael Caine. After the 2002 completion of Insomnia, Nolan presented to Warner Bros. a written 80-page treatment for a horror film envisioning dream stealers, based on lucid dreaming. Deciding he needed more experience before tackling a production of this magnitude and complexity, Nolan shelved the project and instead worked on 2005's Batman Begins. 2006 is The Prestige and The Dark Knight in 2008. The treatment was revised over six months and was purchased by Warner in February 2009. Inception was filmed in six countries, beginning in Tokyo on June 19 and ending in Canada on November 22. Its official budget was $160 million, split between Warner Bros. and Legendary. Nolan's reputation and success with The Dark Knight helped secure the film's US$100 million in advertising expenditure. Inception's premiere was held in London on July 8, 2010. It was released in both conventional and IMAX theaters beginning on July 16, 2010. Inception grossed over $828 million worldwide, becoming the fourth highest grossing film of 2010. Considered one of the best films of the 2010s, Inception received critical praise for its screenplay, direction, themes, action sequences, visual effects, musical score, and the performances of the ensemble cast. It won four Academy Awards, Best Cinematography, Best Sound Editing, Best Sound Mixing, and Best Visual Effects, and was nominated for four more, Best Picture, Best Original Screenplay, Best Art Direction, and Best Original Score. Dominic, Dom, Cobb, and Arthur are extractors. They perform corporate espionage using experimental military technology to infiltrate their target's subconscious and extract information through a shared dream world. Their latest target, Sato, reveals he arranged their mission to test Cobb for a seemingly impossible job implanting an idea in a person's subconscious or inception. Sato wants Cobb to convince Robert, the son of Sato's competitor Morris Fisher, to dissolve his father's company. Sato promises to clear Cobb's criminal status, which prevents him from returning home to his children.
Cobb accepts the offer and assembles his team. Eames, an identity forger. Yusuf, a chemist with a sedative for the dream within a dream strategy. And Ariadne, an architecture student of his father-in-law. Professor Stephen Miles, tasked with designing the dream's labyrinth. Ariadne discovers that Cobb's subconscious houses an invasive projection of his late wife, Mal. After Fisher dies, the team accompanies Robert on a flight where they sedate him into a shared dream. At each dream level, the person generating the dream stays behind to set up a kick to awaken other team members from the deeper dream. These kicks must occur simultaneously, despite time flowing faster in each successive level. The first level is Yusuf's dream of Los Angeles. The team abducts Robert, but is attacked by projections from his subconscious. Sato is wounded, and Cobb reveals that while dying in the dream would normally waken dreamers, the sedatives will instead send them into limbo, a world of infinite subconscious. Eames impersonates Robert's godfather, Peter Browning, to suggest that Robert reconsider his father's will. Cobb tells Ariadne that he and Mal entered limbo while experimenting with dream-sharing technology. Sedated for five hours of real time, they spent 50 years in a dream world. When Mal refused to return to reality, Cobb used a form of inception by reactivating her totem, an object dreamers use to distinguish dreams from reality. After waking up, Mal still believed she was dreaming. Attempting to wake up, she committed suicide and framed Cobb to force him to do the same. Cobb fled the U.S., leaving his children in Miles' care. Yusuf drives the team around the first level as they are sedated into the second level, a hotel dreamed by Arthur.
persuades Robert that he has been kidnapped by Browning and that Cobb is his subconscious protector, leading Robert yet another level deeper as part of a ruse to enter Robert's subconscious. In the third level, the team infiltrates a fortified mountain hospital dreamed by Eames and holds off the guards as Sado takes Robert into the equivalent of his subconscious. Yusuf, pursued by Robert's projections in the first level, deliberately drives off a bridge, initiating his kick too soon. This causes an avalanche in Eames' level and removes gravity on Arthur's level, forcing Arthur to improvise a new kick synchronized with the van hitting the water. Mal's projection emerges at Eames' level and kills Robert. Cobb kills Mal and Sado succumbs to his wounds. Cobb and Ariadne enter Limbo to rescue Robert and Sado, while Eames prepares a kick by rigging the hospital with explosives. Cobb makes peace with Mal's death. Ariadne kills Mal's projection and wakes up Robert with a kick. Revived into the third level, he discovers the planted idea a projection of his dying father telling him to be his own man. While Cobb searches for Sado and Limbo, the others ride the kicks back to reality. Cobb finds an aged Sado and reminds him of their agreement. The dreamers all awaken on the plane and Sado makes a phone call. Arriving at Los Angeles International Airport, Cobb passes the immigration checkpoint and Miles accompanies him to his home. Cobb uses Mal's totem a top that spins indefinitely in a dream, to test if he is indeed in the real world, but chooses not to observe the result and instead joins his children.